we appreciate and we love the fact that we've got such a great back catalogue. You were telling about <coughs> that you wanted to get away from, from fame uh, when, uh, uh, yeah. We've never career. really been famous. It's so a funny thing. But were there moments that, that, that you felt like this is, this is becoming too much for me? I yeah. don't want it. Yeah, there were, there, there were moments like that. There were moments, but, but it, was more a, it was more a thing about having ta no time. You suddenly, a fa you suddenly are well known. And you, you haven't got the time to enjoy it because all you're doing is working. And that can be quite hard. What you really want to do is think, oh, I'll go and lay on a beach somewhere and drink a cocktail. But you can't because you've got to go to Australia tomorrow. And in four days, you've got to go to Los Angeles. And, and it is glamorous. There's no getting away from what we do is glamorous. But I don't, I think because we, we never set out to be famous, we didn't play into the whole game. And, and we live in Sheffield, so it's far enough away from the big cities to, to come back and sort of, you know, come back down to earth and be, be sort of normal again. We like it now, we get to go to the best places in the world, but we can be anonymous in the daytime. There were times in our career where you'd go to Australia, but all you could do was sit in your hotel room. And it was awful, yeah. wasn't it? You couldn't go outside because the, the hotel lobby had got people sleeping there because they wanted to see, see you. Very odd. But <laughs> now we can go to Australia and you dump your bags in your hotel room and we go out walking and we go shopping and things like that and we get to see all these fantastic places but we're anonymous too and that, that's great. If you look back on, uh, on, on the early days in your career, do you have the feeling that you didn't enjoy it as much as you should? Or? Oh, I, no, I don't think we did enjoy it. Uh, I but I, d I think as Susan just said, I don't think we, 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 we could have enjoyed it. It, w it was just too much and, and it's... I think as we've grown, grown up and grown older, we, we appreciate and we love the fact that we've got such a great catalogue and that it has done so well and it gives us lots of opportunities. But now we can enjoy what we're doing. We don't have to worry about the future now, do no, we? No. In the 1980s, we're on the, we're on the top of the charts, but every, everyone was after us. And we didn't know what was going to happen in five years' time. For all we knew, you know, another band that was, was yeah. better looking than us was going to come along and, t and take our place. We don't care now. We're all right. We, we can play live and get, make a little bit of money and just, just do what we need to do. But you did care back then that there was maybe some. Well, you've got to fill your life up. You've got, you know, well, the, the biggest question in life is how long are you going to live? You're supposed to, the <laughs> finance means, how, how do you make sure you've got money until you die? But you don't know when you're going to die. You know, and Errol Flynn said, said any, any man who dies with more than $5 in his pocket is an idiot, which I think is a great phrase. <laughs> but how do, how do you make sure you haven't spent all your money? Then you've 30 years sort of going begging the government to, to, to buy your bread and water. You mentioned uh, Herbie Hancock. Yeah. Uh, what do you like so much about him? Um, it, it, it's a, I like his tune writing, really. The fact that he's done such amazing different things, but behind it there's always been a tune. I mean, right at the front he wrote Watermelon Man. I don't, I don't know if you know. Hey, Watermelon Man. Uh, <laughs> what a way to start. <laughs> and, and then go into hip-hop and things. Brilliant. Does he inspire you, maybe? In oh, yeah. yeah. Well, got great musicians, yeah. Well, we, we're pretty respectful of the past, aren't we? Yeah, I think we do this because we loved other musicians that, that, that were so important to us. I would have had a miserable life without music. <laughs> yeah, uh, I also read that uh, in, 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 in those early days there, you had a lot of debts to, p to pay off uh, because, oh, yeah. uh, because of all kinds of record label troubles. We've probably still yeah. got loads of debts to pay off. Do you still have debts? Well, I'm yeah. sure we still, yeah. we still owe people. We oh, still we owe, owe we don't owe Virgin anything anymore, no. but all the others. Yeah, you, you sometimes when you get dropped from a record contract, they don't make you pay your money back they just hope that you're going to sell some they hope you're going to have hits in the future with somebody else and you'll you'll sell your back catalogue and they'll pay yeah i think we walked away from certainly from papi i know owing a hell of a lot of money but we just walked away from it so uh for example don't you want me did that uh, got you a lot of money or did it all go oh, to yeah, the, the it, it, yeah, yeah it probably enters loads of money but but you you have to 
One of the things that people never take on is that every single thing that you do, even to promote, to do everything, the, you pay for it yourself. So if, you know, if, it, if you get a makeup artist to come, that costs you money. Don't, you don't have to get your hand in your pocket there and then and give them the money, but it goes on some list somewhere at the record company. It's why we never bothered to get limousines and stuff, because we knew all stuff like that happened. We've seen little bands hurt by that yeah. along the way. They're, they're staying in the best hotels and, and you know, it is limos everywhere, isn't yeah. it? And then one day they, they see the bill and they never make the money from back from their records. Well, they go bankrupt, so yeah. many of it. You know, you used, years ago, we could spend £250,000 on making a video. It seems obscene now, but that's what you did because you wanted a certain director and that's how much money they cost. Well, that's got to be paid back in, in some way. So even though we made money out of Don't You Want Me, and, and dare. We actually only broke even about two years ago, didn't we? We actually only personally recouped, recoup, started getting money back from record sales from an album that came out 28 years ago. And only recently did we start earning money from that. Yeah, that's uh, somewhat ironic uh, mm. to make money. Well, people after, used yeah. to make money though out of songwriting. It was it was songwriting. It was the songwriters that made the money, and but you know now we we make we make our most money through touring and playing live. Playing live. <laughs>